We're going to be able to bring you one of the semifinals. I already, I'm just using the other one. Featuring the team of uh, Dennis Nuzzo and Wayne Springfield, who qualified in actually four, 14th position. And they'll be going up against our number one seed, Nick Cifaletto and Chris Bovert. We're going to be starting now with Bovert delivering first on lane four. One string match in the semis. Bovert's in on the 1-3 pocket. As a pair. Nuzzo drops nine to the five pin. $3,880 on the line for the top four. These guys have all qualified for at least 420 of that. That's for fourth place. 720 will go to third. 1100 as Nuzzo makes his spare. Bovert is open in the first. He'll take a nine. First ball in the second box coming up. Can you go? Can you go onto Bowling Nerd Network and, and share this with Candlepin Chat? Over again. This time with a better outcome in the one-three pocket. Drops it to the six. Nuzzo takes two in his bonus. 12-9 through one of 20 boxes. Bowling Nerd Network? Says we're, says we're live. Over. Shoots for the wood and takes Takes his spare, Nuzzo, into the void. Third ball coming up. Big out. Great out for Nuzzo. He's at 21. Over. Working on a spare in the bonus now. First ball in the third box here, playing a 10. Bovert and Freshy versus Nuzzo and Springfield on lanes three and four. Elsewhere we have, over on lanes eight and nine, we have uh, Eric Seeger and Jeremy Seaholm battling against Lou Rangasharna and uh, Steve Reno Jr. So we wait for a reset on lane three. Bovert in the bonus. Needs two or more to draw the, to draw the match even. His third head pin in a row, he drops nine, ten, and that's a strike on spare. Nuzzo knocks out five on the right side. And he will be open. Facing the head pin with his third ball here. For a 10. Nuzzo at 31 through three. Over with a who, who won the uh, first leg of the triple crown up at Lita Lanes a couple weeks ago. Working on his strike. That is four straight head pins for Bovert. And nine in the bonus. With a barn door. Looks like it's a Six inches off the, off the five pin. Three 
three marks in a row. A strike sandwich for Bovert. He's at 59 in a ball through four. And Nuzzo takes a seven to 38. Just like that, we have a 21 pin lead plus this ball coming up. First ball of the fifth box here. We're playing, playing 10. And another head pin, and another strike. Four marks in a row. Bogart Nuzzo is in the, in the pocket. Left the five, seven, six, ten. Good bid there. And he'll be open. With a nine, so 47 half for, for Nuzzo. Great half. 79 and a ball for Chris Bover. Leaving little to the imagination. Five straight pocket strikes for Bover. And Freshie continues, as does Springfield. Freshie with a tricky two and one. He's got the uh, two four. He's got to send the two over. He'll be open. Zuffalato and Bovert qualified with a 12-15 in the five string qualifier, averaging 121 in their games. Ten for Springfield. Grabs one of those pins back. Freshie takes his second nine, and Springfield joins him with a nine. 19 for Springfield. Hmm. I hope it didn't pick up It's impossible to stop. It's all right. All right. Eight drop for Freshie. He's got. Looks like a playable 5'10", five, five, Woolworth special. Wood leaning toward the uh, right side. Doesn't hit it though. And Springfield's open again. All right, Freshie draws this match even at 28 through three, this part of the match. But uh, Chris Bobert went off with four marks in a row, has 79 in a ball, a 32 pin lead overall for his, his team as he looks to get into the final. He claimed at least $1,100 of the purse. Loser of this match will go up against the loser of the uh, other match. Zafaletto with his first mark in the fourth. And 
that'll be a nine for Springfield to 37. Seven in the bonus for Freshie. And he finishes with two spares in a row. Springfield will be open. He's at 46, looking for 47 with his third ball. Forty-seven half for Springfield. A lot of great competitors here. We had some phenomenal matches. We had a the number uh, number fifteen seed Richie Myrick and uh, Pete Crawford knocked off the second seed da Josh Daly and Joey Lister after tying in their uh, first round matchup and, they, and then pulling off a one twenty nine to one twenty one. Um, victory in a five-string roll-off. They were eliminated in the uh, semifinals. Bovert continues to hit the pocket. This time he's not rewarded. He's got a W back there. The nuzzle will be open. Ten for Nuzzo. He's at 57. Head pin here in the seventh box for Chris Bovert, who's been putting on a clinic. He's at 94, 34 over through six boxes already. And he delivers a good bit at the Kaliri, but That'll be an eight. 102 through seven for Bovert, wearing the gray Lucky Strike jersey. That's a good shirt, Bob. That's a good shirt, that Lucky Strike shirt. Nuzzo wearing the uh, May Contain Foul Language shirt is at uh, 65. Lead is now up to 40, 40 pins plus for our number one seeds. That was a great bid, but can't grab the eight pin. That was the fifth fifth mark for Bobert. Hitting the difficult triangle. Those go at a 44% rate for pros. 
The key is one. Good mix for Nazo. He's got the one three. Eight of nine head pins for Bohert. Eight more in his fill. He's now 40 over 120 through eight. As Nuzzle goes open. Bovert's taking a resetting on lane three. He'll be delivering his first ball in the tenth. Little doubt left in this one. He's he's got a uh, forty-six pin lead, forty-four pin lead, and his partner Nick Cipollato has an eight pin lead plus a ball. And he'll be finishing out the match. Eight drop for Nuzzle. Trying to end on a mark. Started one on one. Nine of ten head pins for Bobert. Spare for Nuzzle. Wayne Springfield's going to need to. Uh, Put together a triple plus. Last ball for Clover. A one thirty seven. Nine fill on the end. So Nuzzo finishes with a 103. Chops up, takes a bite out of that lead. Seven in the bonus for Freshy, so he finishes the first half with a 62. And his third mark in a row there. Springfield. Springfield takes a four, so. This match is in the 40s now. Open in the seventh. Freshie's string of spares ends at three. He has 85 through 
through seven. With a 60 pin lead, they will just bowl out, bowl out the rest of this string. Springfield and Nuzzo made their way up from the 14 seed to get to this semi final. They'll be bowling next. For $720 or $420 at least, a good day for them. <laughs> 42 bowlers entered today's match, started at 11 o'clock today. Clock's now at 310. Beautiful strike for Springfield. Keeps a scintilla of hope alive. Pressure looking for a spare here in the ninth. He gets it. His fourth mark of the match. He's at 105 plus the ball. Springfield shooting for the double. Off on the six pin. Six more for Freshy. Third ball in the ninth here. That'll do it. Springfield finishes with a 93. Freshy with a 120. His team wins 157 to 196. We're going to be seeing the Millis pair for Jer Jeremy Seaholm and Eric Seeger. One over on lanes eight and nine. Great matchup coming up ahead. We have uh, Jeremy Seaholm, who won the uh, Fall Chicha Nationals, and Eric Seeger. Both employees at, uh, at Ryan Family Amusements in Millis. They qualified ninth and made their way through the, through the uh, matchups, defeating Norcross and Harris. In the first round. Feel very weird right now in this They put up a uh, 1130. So uh, based on the five-string qualifier, you'd put uh, the favorite on the number one seed. Freshy and Bover with the one 121 average. Seeger and Seaholm averaging 113 today, but uh, this will be a two-string. Two string final. And Chris Bogart 
We just put on a clinic hitting nine of 10 head pins for a 137 with five marks. We'll start on lane four. <laughs> Great crowd on hand. Crossover, leaves, leaves the diamond. Seeger will look at a Kaliri. The diamond goes at 30% 30, 30 rate. The Kaliri's go at a 20% rate without any wood. Seeger's got a little piece of wood in there. Might help. Just off the head pin. Third ball is coming up. All right. Seeger takes a one pin lead. Nine drop for Bullard. Okay, a bit of a triangle fronted by the uh, three pin facing Seeger. Four step drop, and he's right on target. Both bowlers with spares in the second. Six fill for Chris. And a nine drop for Seeger. Over has a piece of wood staring him in the face. And that's what he hits. He's right in front of the five pin there. And Seeger picks his single. Two in a row for Eric. As he's averaged up around 108 now. That was for 10. Early four pin lead plus a ball for Seeger. Here in the top of the first, we're playing, playing a two string final here. Oh, yeah, look at you over there. Woo! Looking good up there. $2,700 in the, in the finals pool. $1,600 for the winner, $1,100 for second place. <laughs> Top four, we're in the money. All right, over it off his head pin. Seeger picks out five from the three hole. Nine pin lead early on. Looking at four pins on his third ball. Five for Seeger. Third ball of the fourth box here. Hey, 
over, takes a six, tough box. Seeger doesn't one better with a seven, he's at 50. 10 pin lead early on. Drop seven to a side saddle triangle. And Seeger will be looking at the Kaliri. These triangles go at about a 45% rate. Not this time, though. Both bowlers will be open in the fifth. All right, eight for Bover, 48 half with one spare. And a 59 half with two spares for Seeger. See our anchor bowlers. Nick Zappolato in the pocket leaves the 610 in the corner with a barn door in front of it. Jeremy Seal has a cross. Spare for Freshie. Shakes it, but he'll take a nine. Ten pin lead right now for Seaholm and Seeger. Through six of 20 boxes. Zappolano gonna take a bite out of that with this first ball. And the bonus? Oh. Nice. Sour leave off a good head pin strike, but he, he'll get six. Brings the lead down to four. Great bid, but Freshie's open. Seaholm on the outside of the head pin. Can't get the six to carry. Freshie, Freshie's at 26, and Seaholm with that 10 is at 19. For Seaholm, too, the seven pin. Freshie chopped out three. And he goes back in that three hole. It's gone. Yeah, don't have to hit it square, just have to knock it down. Six in the fill for Seaholm. Just a little 
flush on the head pin there. Tough. Tough three and one. He had to hit that one. It's going. Almost for Seaholm. Two sixes in a row for Freshy. He's at 38 through four. Seaholm with a nine goes to 44. He and Eric Seeger now lead by 17 pins. As we end, as we're finishing up the first quarter. Nine and a shaker. 10, a strike. For Zuffalato. Oh, what a pickup. Seaholm wipes out the left side. He knocked out. He had the four horsemen plus the two in the back. 54 and a half. 54 and a ball and a half for Seaholm. 48 and a ball for Freshy. And the lead is at 17. Seeger is open to start the sixth. Chris Boder also will be open with a good bit on the uh, Kaliri leave. Bovert picks up one. It is 10. He's at 58 through six. Seeger at 68. His partner, Jeremy Seaholm, leads by six. We have a 16 point difference here. Three nines in a row for Seeger. He's at 77 through seven. And Chris, with that eight, is now at 66. Decent mix, but he's got the uh, one eight. Seeker working on the triangle and one. Nope. Both open again. Spare for Bovert. That's his second of the match. Ends a string of five boxes in a row. Come on, 
came back on the other side, I'm like, you gotta. Oh, what a pitch! Come on! Tough leave on that. The bonus brings six for Bovard. Bowlers open in the ninth. Seeger takes his fifth nine in a row. And a nine for Bobert. He's at 91. Tightens this, this one up. 95, 91 for Seeger. And we're playing, each bowler is going to bowl 20. Two strings. Seeger punches out five from the middle. Got the eagle wing and the uh, 610. Over, crosses over onto the two pin and picks three. It's going! It's gone! What a pickup on the three and two! Unlikely spare for Seeger. That was a ten. For Chris, he finishes with a 101. Seeger at 105 plus his next ball. He's disappointed with that effort. He just kept coming off a 137 in the semis. Seeger on the head pin drops nine more for his total. That'll be a 114 unofficially. 114 for Eric Seeger. Both of these bowlers spared in the fifth, so that was five in the bonus for Seaholm. Oh! And nine for Freshy. And a good cover. Seaholm right, <laughs> threw the right ball, but it won't go. Seventy-eight through six for Seaholm. Freshy coming, coming on strong now as a uh, sixty-seven plus his next ball and oh, tough, tough lead for Seaholm. Six-seven. Four in the bonus for Freshy. Closes the lead down. To 20. Big out ball coming now for Nick Cicoletto. Seaholm takes a nine. He's at 87 through seven. And he has a eight pin lead in this matchup. 13 pins picked up by Seeger. As Bomber, as Seaholm drops a hammer on lane four. Uh, 
Just a little thin hit on the head pin. That was Seaholm's third mark in this first, this first string. Great bid. As Freshy knocks it back the head, the hay bale. And he'll take a nine. He's at 88. Seaholm at 97, but has two balls coming up. Looking for a double here. First ball of the ninth box. We're playing 20. All right. Spread eagle shot. Clips the uh, clips the seven pin in addition. Seven in the in the strike. Twenty-nine pin lead now for Seaholm and Seeger. Make that twenty-eight. First ball of the tenth. Coming up. Jeremy Seaholm at 112. Freshy at, one, at 97, waiting for his lane to clear. Just off the head pin, four horsemen. Difficult. He's got the uh, two eight and ten. A little bit of wood. It might send. Seeger from the outside rips the four horses for his fifth fourth mark of the match. And what a pickup to match for Freshy. Seaholm carrying a 15 pin lead here. Seeger has a 13 pin lead in his match. That's 28 overall. Final ball of the first. Seven drop for a 129. And that pin tilted and moved and reset and it's still standing. A nine pin, so that'll be a seven. No blood on that exchange, but uh, a 114, a 114 for Freshy. Let's check, make, make sure those scores are official. Is that 119? So I'm, I'm corrected. It's a 119 for Seaholm. Let's go, Chris. Come on, bud. And a 115 for Freshy, the official score. Different from mine. So that tightens up the match. Seventeen pins the difference. drop and both bowlers are looking at covered corner pins. As we start the second and final string. Uh-oh. Tipped it over but didn't turn it on. And Seeger takes advantage.
There's the hammer for Bobert. And a big eight fill to a covered 5-8 lead. Seeger's wide right. So that's for a 10. Working on the strike. Cross is over. Drops eight to the three six. Seeger. Oh, spread eagle. Doesn't take the six pin. That's a nine in the spare, though. A ten in the third for Chris Bowert. He's at thirty-nine. Seven for Seeger. He's at thirty-five. Thirteen pins the difference now. Another eight drop, another pair. Chris Bover. He's got it. His second mark in the second string. And Seeger is just off his head pin. We'll take a nine. Lead is now at 11. Minus the next ball Chris Bover throws. Sixteen to play. Great ball, but he leaves an end. So he's got six. Lead is down to five. Pick up on the end. What a shot, buddy. The, the four, seven, eight, five. You don't see that one go very often. Seeger takes a, an eight. 51 half for Eric Seeger. 65 and a ball for Chris Bobert, who. Brought the lead down to three, but he has a bonus ball coming up. Virtual tie game here now. Freshy in on the pocket.
Oh! Looks like he was shooting for the cap. Both bowlers open in the first box. Pair of nines to start. Freshie, who had a 115 in his first string. And Seaholm put up a 119. Drops eight to the 17. Two pieces of friendly wood behind the one. Tough cluster for Freshie, he can't make it. There it is, the ball jumped and took the seven. Seaholm's fifth spare in the finals here for bowling uh, two string finals. Freshie. Those pairs go to 60% rate for pros. Seaholm fills his spare with four. disappointed with that one. And a great bid from Seaholm. Comes up short on the four and two. Pair of tens exchanged there. Freshy at 28, Seaholm at 33. Match difference is now eight pins. Over with a bonus ball coming up in the sixth. Both bowlers leave four and twos. Mirror image. Second ball on the fourth. Rashi holds his hands out. Oh, Seaholm finds the combo. Picks up two more there. Plus this bonus ball. Lead is now 10 for Seaholm and Seeger. That 18 now for the lead as Seaholm picks up eight more in the fourth. He's at 51 through four. He has a 15 pin lead in his matchup. Oh, what a pickup for. On the two and one. Seaholm matches with his third spare of the half. Seaholm finishes with 61 in a ball after five. And sit down. Freshy with 46 in a ball. Lead is now over with the ball. 
16 or 18? Over it in the bonus. Crosses over. Leaves that in again. This time, it's the uh, five nine six ten. Playable wood though. He's moved up to the foul line to look at it. See home facing the, the Seeger. Sorry, facing the one seven. Lead is unofficially 10 pins now. Oh! Just a little high. Seeger runs three of the horsemen, leaves death in the corner. Over just left on his bid for the half Worcester fill. Seeger now at 69 officially through seven. Over at on the left side, leaves Bover with a 6-10, covered in the back. Seeger misses the diamond, the diamond wins. Just right on that one. Seeger and Seaholm came into the second string with a 17 pin lead. Bovert has bumped that back. He's at 97. To 77. He's picked up 20 on those. Seaholm has a 15 pin lead in his matchup. So, we've got a we have a 10 pin difference now between the two. Seeger looking at a uh, difficult 6 7 leave. Over. Lays it down. So smooth on that one. Has the 5 8 covered. Seeger looking for a center. He does it. An enormous spare here in the ninth for Eric Seeger, his second mark. In the second string. He had three in the first. And look at that again. 
third time we've seen a, a two pinner with wood cover and it go like that for Bover. And he's denied the 10 too. So a nine to a 106. Bonus ball for Seeger. He's got it all. Strike on spare here in the 10th. Another great pocket shot for Bovert. You hate to say it, but. <laughs> there it is. Bovert's fourth mark here in the second. Three spares to go along with that strike from the sixth. He's at 116, plus a ball. See here with two bonus balls coming up, and oh, spread eagle for the first. He's got a 111 in the books. Seven to a 123 unofficially for Bogart. And the six to a 113 for Eric Seeger. One scores of 113 and 115. Twenty-two pin lead for Seaholm and Seeger. With five to play. Both bowlers with spares in the fifth. Seaholm fills his with four. And five for Freshy. Lead is down to 21. Third ball in the sixth box here in the final five frames. Central Park scratch doubles through it. Good nine for Freshy. But Seaholm will finish with a 65 first half. He's now at 74. Has a 14 pin lead here in this match. Eric Seeger did his job. He did his part. Winning his matchup against Chris Bovert as Seaholm continues to rack up the spares. That's his fourth here in the second string. He had four in the first string for a 119. And what a pickup on the two and one, the six, 10, seven split. Freshie's sixth mark of the match, his second here in the second string. Nah, nine drop. Great fill for Seaholm. He's at 93. And a matching nine drop to the five pin for Freshie, but no blood there. He's at 79. Hey, 
see Holmes' fifth spare in the string, and Freshy will be open. Here. See him already at, he's at 103 plus this ball here. First ball in the ninth, two left to play. Breaks up the split and drops seven. Mirrored ear, eagle wings here. And see home, three spares in a row. Six on the match. Match there. My freshie with his third spare. But he's not getting any, not picking up any pins. Uh, over 40 now. See almost spares in the seventh, eighth, and ninth. He's had fills of nine and seven so far. He's brought the lead that was 22 pins coming into this match. Over 30. 33 pins. Yep, 33 pins is the official. That's our tournament director, Karata Pani. Congratulations, Karata, on a great tournament. Um, good purse, good turnout. Yeah, definitely. Yep. And Seaholm finishes with it four in a row. And that concludes it. He'll get another another rack. You hear the applause. It's already at one thirty-six. And he takes seven more. I'm officially, at, what, is that a 143? 143. Yep. Final score there, 143 to 117 for Jeremy and the Seaholm and Seeger win. What a ball that was. Put the official score up in just a moment. A 143 <laughs> finish for Jeremy Seaholm. Congratulations, Jeremy. Look at that, seven, seven spares. <laughs> Getting through. 12 in the two. There's a two. A 262 for Seaholm. I don't care. Seaholm. Seeger did his part. Like I said, he's like, he had a 114, 114 and a 113. You have the final totals there? Six. $1,640 will go to Seeger and Seaholm. $1,100 to our number. Number one seed, Freshy and Chris Bover. Congratulations to everyone who came. And uh, we will see you on the lanes.